everyone, I'm Eleanor and I blog at dreamlovelivefashion.blogspot.co.uk. It's fashion, beauty and lifestyle blog and I've been doing it four years now and I think it's probably time that I started YouTubing. Um, I'm very scared, it's my very very first video. Um, I'm a bit worried about what you're all going to think so be kind. <laughs> um, I thought I'd start off with just a generic uh, beauty, makeup, skincare haul. Um, things that I've been buying in the past week or so and just new products that I've been trying really. Um, start off is the Lee Stafford hair growth treatment. It's about that big and you apply it um, just between shampooing and conditioning and it's supposed to make your hair grow. Uh, it's suitable if your hair has been at the same length for you know, ages and ages, I mean my hair has and I think it's time to try to make it grow a little bit. Um, uh, this product, whether it actually makes your hair grow or not, I'm not sure. Um, but I would say that it is very, very good for, you know, making your hair very smooth, very soft. Um, it just makes it feel very, very nice and it makes it smell absolutely amazing. Um, you know, you can smell it the next couple of days until you wash your hair. Just a little aroma <laughs> of Lee Stafford hair treatment. <laughs> um, it's not claggy, it doesn't make your hair greasier than normal or anything like that. It's just very nice to you know, just give your hair a little bit of a boost. <laughs> um, next is skincare and it's micellar water. I'm not sure if that's how you actually pronounce it. Um, but these are so so popular at the moment. I know the Garnier one especially, everyone absolutely loves it. Um, this is the first one I tried by L'Oreal Paris and it's skin perfection um, and it's just supposed to purify, tone, unplug pores and soothe your skin. Um, I definitely agree that this works very very well. I didn't actually realise that if you're just taking your makeup off, with, makeup off with makeup wipes or baby wipes, it's not actually cleansing your skin and it doesn't get rid of all of the makeup on your face. Um, so this is just good for finishing it off and just removing those last little bits of makeup just to make sure that you, cut, you unclog your pores and you're taking care of your skin. Um, next one is a toner. It's by Garnier and it's the Fresh Refining Toner Shine Be Gone. Um, I do suffer with oily skin from time to time and I just thought, you know, give it a try. I did, I'll be honest with you, I don't actually know what a toner is. I'm not sure. Um, but it's supposed to purify, tone and tighten your pores. Um, I think everybody suffers with open pores and, you know, it's just, it's nice and it actually works. It's got green tea and moringa extract. Um, it just leaves your skin very soothed, very soft and it gives sort of a matte effect if you do have oily skin and it prevents your skin from getting oily during the day. So that one's a good one. Um, next is the Blackhead Eliminating Cleansing Lotion by Neutrogena. Um, Neutrogena products are renowned for being good for cleansing your skin and getting rid of any spots or blackheads. Um, so I thought I'd give this one a go. Um, as you can see, literally just started using this, um, but I would say I have seen a difference. Everyone's got blackheads, and you know, especially on your nose and in your T zone. And I did find that this worked very, very well for me. Next is the Garnier Moisture Matte Daily Oil Free Moisturizer. Now, I think one thing with moisturizers is that. It can leave your skin very, very sort of greasy and if you apply it on a morning, it can make it difficult for you, put, for you to put your makeup on because it can be a little bit slimy, um, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, this one's supposed to be moisture matte and it's supposed to help with oily skin. And I have seen a difference. I apply this before I go to bed. Um, I still don't want to risk putting it on before I put my makeup on. So I have found when I wake up, my skin is just very refreshed. It's very smooth and it's ready for me to apply my makeup. Um, this one is the Ted Baker Body Spray. Now I was debating in the shop whether to get the full size version or the little mini one. Um, I do find that this is, it smells lovely. It's nice for just giving yourself a little, you know, just a 
just a little spritz of something nice. <laughs> um, yeah, fits in your handbag nicely. And it was only £2.50, I think. Um, next is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Vintage Pink Lipstick. Um, I'm not a big fan of lipstick, if I'm honest. Um, I do like a nice little lip balm. Um, but I know that nude lips are very, very in right now. Um, everyone's absolutely raving about them, and I'll be honest, I'm not bothered. And I find that nude lips really don't suit me, but I do tend to go for pinks. I don't want to be boring, so I've gone for this one, which is vintage pink. And I'm wearing it now, as you can see. Um, I like the colour because it's different from your average pink, and I just think it's very good for... Um, I'm giving your lips a little bit of moisture as well. It does what it says. Um, it makes sure that your lips remain smooth and soft throughout the day. Then I've got the wonderful Rimmel London Mascara. I usually stick to Scandalize, I will be honest, but I thought, you know, try something new. I like the bottle and I have to say, I was a bit worried when I bought it because I saw that the brush is actually plastic. Now I never ever ever go for plastic brushes because I find that they are very good for lengthening your eyelashes but they're not very good for volumising. Um, I don't really have a problem with the length of my eyelashes but I do with volume so that's why I like Scandalise quite a lot but um, yeah I tried this one it works fabulously. Um, I've only had it a couple of days now but it's very very good for you know curling your eyelashes a little bit adding definition, lengthens and it volumises, um, yeah, a very very nice product. Lastly is the Rimmel London Last and Finish 24 hour or 25 hour uh, foundation. I've been using this for years and years and years and I've never ever wanted to change. Um, I don't understand why people buy you know, MAC or NARS or Bobbi Brown when you know, you can just have this for £7.99. Um, I think I go through a lot of foundation. So if I was spending over £20 for a foundation, I just couldn't afford it for day-to-day -day use. Um, I find this one works perfectly well. And it lives up to its name. It is probably 25-hour cover. But, I mean, I don't wear my makeup for 25 hours at a time. But in the heat, if at any time throughout the day, it's just staying on, it's not coming off and it gives good co coverage, sorry. Um, has SPF 20. Now, I would be careful with this because although that's good for daytime, if you are wearing a foundation with SPF in, especially on nights out, if you get any picture taken, it makes you look like a ghost. It really does. It has flashback on it and it's just, it doesn't look great. So try and avoid SPF if you are wearing a foundation for a night out. This one is in the shade 201 Classic Beige and I just think this one's very very nice, not completely orange and it just suits my skin tone. I think it's very very popular this one. Right, that is the end of my first very first video. Um, yeah, If you'd like to subscribe or leave me a comment below I'd absolutely love it and also I would love if you would check out my blog which is www.dreamlovelyfashion.blogspot.co.uk Thank you.